bit more dive, some great pick potential as well from the Team BDS lineup. So the only reason why I don't like the Lucian in BDS's composition is like, great skirmisher, I think it can work well with the Sejuani. Is he gonna look towards bot? Ice is down, a little bit of HP, not much mana left in the tank either, does have the flash, no ignite full of Rob right now. Unbreakable comes down. There's the TP in. Razork locked up underneath the tower. Ice falls first, though. Fnatic tank it perfectly. Razork's being locked up, still has the flash, and will dash across the wall to escape. Adam dashes forward, gets one. Jun stunned up as well as Adam's looking for more TP coming in as well. As it's Ice who's going to rejoin the party. Then his blade going wide. Adam's still on the chase. Ice here for a little bit more action. Flash satchel, a possibility. Jun sacrifices himself for the good of his ADC. Hey, that works out really well for BDS. Adam would already. Was trying there though, buffering the hook shots, and then yeah. even if he got knocked back, he would have been able to get out. So, should be able to at least keep this pressure up. And I think that's ooh, actually Humanoid are going to take a lot of hurt here. Nicely done by Nuke. Humanoid has no yeah. TP as well, like he just got back into the lane with a blasting one. So, Nuke using the fact that he crested over to level six, using that powerful ultimate to chunk away, and he goes in. Humanoid though dashes him back with the Emperor's Divide, the outplay. Humanoid absolutely nukes Nuke. Meanwhile, on the bot side, Jun and Noah are going to try and survive what is likely to be a dive here from BDS. Ice, LeBrov, and Sheo eyeing them up greedily under the towers. Then it's played in. LeBrov tanking it, cleanse away by Noah. Noah falls first. Ice able to get one. The response, LeBrov falling under the tower, and I don't think BDS will get any more. I'm taking it, right? So. Well, I mean. You could say the thing you respect the least about Razor uh, is stealing <laughs> the kill from New <laughs> <Kunda. laughs> It's going to deter Fnatic from setting up any potential divers. Razork is in the area. I say deter, perhaps not. Adam Rommel. Pyroclasm early. It's on to Adam to get the stun as well. Meanwhile, on the bot side, Noah caught out by Sheo and Ice. Noah has no flash. He can try to escape, but the Winter's Wrath will put him in his place. On the top side of the map, Jun bolstered the attack. And ultimately, the gold advantage that Adam was able to gain on the bot side has been completely nullified. Look at that experience Razzle. difference now. That's the flash early. The Zenith is going to chase him here. Nuke can start to collapse. Sheo can dash across the wall. The flash is also a possibility. Dashes first. Humanoid here to back him up. The Emperor's Divide, but another shield at Daybreak sends Razork packing. BDS 5-3 up. Razork's three away, but three kills to the good. Can look for more here as LeBron is starting to circle. Sheo on his way across as well. Nuke starting to work his way towards the top side. Oscar winning goes in with the Pathmaker. Shielded Freya at Daybreak for the stun. The Solar Flare connects as well, and the CC chain is good so far. Hexagold made him locks Oscar in place. The All Out will buy him a second. But Precision Ice can lean bot and just clear out that wave with his ultimate if needs to. But looks like he's going to hard focus on towards the mid lane. And BDS kind of realizing, look, a set first dragon for Fnatic doesn't really mean too much. This is a composition that wants to be accelerated and hit a late game plan with the Ziggs and the Camille. So focusing more on the Grand Braum. Um, so, but if they're on an objective late, that means they have to find some sort of pseudo engage. And speaking of an engage, Solar Flare only gets the slow. LeBrov looking for Chun right now. They go for Razork instead. The Emperor's Divide comes out. Pyroclasm is bouncing. LeBrov takes a chunk. Nuke now behind them as the TP no, joining, sorry, from Adam has come. Both top laners are here. My the goodness. Side, but like, you, it's just the damage on LeBrov. Chunks him out in the end. Not really too much. Yeah, that's kind of what he's using a lot of the time, is that global to just get tempo on the map. That's the first time we've seen Ice competitively on the Zig, so perhaps a few teething issues oh, for Noah. BDS. Noah, well, there was a, a roundabout there, Betty, and he has to go around it to make sure that he can take the right exit. LeBrov stepping forward. Adam hasn't been on vision at all. The cleanse away from Noah, and immediately the clamps onto Adam. There's the bullet time, and Adam is put in the dirt. Noah able to get the all out out here from Oscar Rinnan, who isolates Nuke as well. Fnatic react perfectly to Adam's 250 gold bounty on his head, and there's 1,000 gold ahead of a nuke in that mid lane. BDS trying to collapse, but Fnatic are just escorting the president away. Jun tanks it, Glacial Fis uh, Fisher coming out. Jun down to about half HP, there's the culling. Razzle falls first, so does Jun, but Humanoid survives. And the goal for Fnatic continues to be that. Good collapse from BDS, a Baron perhaps. A really nice force from BDS. They stacked as five on the top side, and even with the tankiness of the Braum, they were able to just push through it, get that execution onto the jungler. Now Noah's going to be crucial in this fight. All out, uh, oh, sorry, all out Emperor's Divide. And the bullet time could be enough here for Fnatic. The Baron down to 5,000. LeBrov is flanked all the way around, but spotted on a ward now. There's the bullet time. Adam on the front line! 
Noah gets it somehow. Noah gets it. Nuke falls after, and Fnatic are looking for a bit more of a chase. LeBrop has been caught by Jun. Shale's going to be able to get his recall off, but I don't think that same luxury is afforded to Ice. He's collapsed on by Noah and by Oscar and put on Ice himself. Sent to the morgue by Fnatic, a Baron at their backs. What the hell just happened? I looked his look. See LeBrop getting jumped on, and the Baron was stolen by Noah. Now everyone on B BDS is dead apart from Shane. Fnatic knocking on the base once again. TP coming in. Oscar in. They really want to hard force this down, and BDS aren't in position. They just can't get close enough right now. It would be a Glacial Fizzle thrown at arm's length from Sheo to try and find a pick. But Jun's there on the front line alongside Oscar in. The inhibitor tower in the top lane already gone. The inhibitor short to follow as Noah cracks it down. And Oscar in just set up a slow push on the bottom side as well right before he teleported in. So Adam's ahead of Adam is uh, sizably cheaper, of course, but in a strong position as Nuke eats half his health for breakfast. Shale coming in from the backside onto Razork. He still has the flash of Pyroclasm going down as well. The culling not really clipping onto Humanoid. Noah chasing out Nuke. He opens up and bullet time. Dodge this, says Noah. Humanoid slides. Ice back. And he's sent packing. Fnatic clean up the fight and lose no one. It is a clean ace for Fnatic. Sub 30 minutes with a lot more confidence. Fnatic look to go to match point in this series against BDS. I still can't believe Noah stole that Baron. That ultimate was immaculate. And won Fnatic that game. The MF coming in clutch right at the end. When you pop the bullet time, you can see the matrix, and he read those ones and zeros. He knew exactly what he was doing. It's actually based on a Chinese takeout menu. The uh, the code in the matrix. No. Yeah, it's just uh, like all of the code is just. That was a bit of a weird thing to go to right now. It popped into my head. Fanatic acclaim. Fanatic acclaim. We'll see you after this. Google it.